My name is Marty Alpert. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. You can hear my accent. I was uh, pushed through school because I had a Jewish mother who wanted me to be something, somebody. So I did a PhD at McGill and then came here to Antigonish and did a back to the land trip. So that chicken attests to the truth of what I'm saying. I'm an electrician, but I've always done hot water heating and some plumbing and some solar, both photovoltaic and thermal. And that's what I'm interested in. Um, I'm much better electrician and that kind of stuff than I am a farmer, but I enjoy having animals around. But they get into the garden and scratch everything up. But the ducks don't. The ducks are really good to not annoy the garden. And uh, I've been here 1972, 43 years, so most of my life. Behind me are four thermal solar panels. They make hot water, domestic hot water, as opposed to hot, space heating hot water. And these four panels are, they, the fluid is root, rooted through them in a serpentine fashion. So it goes in, it comes in up at the top there and loops back and forth and then goes to the next panel, the next panel, keeps adding heat to it. And these work great when the sun's shining. These just heat glycol, which is just a heat transfer fluid, and then they transfer the heat to fresh water in a tank. The tank has a coil on the bottom of it. That's known as an indirect tank and the glycol passes through that coil and heats the water in the tank. There's no electricity involved here except a little solar panel that runs a circulator. This a wind turbine behind me. It's a Burgi XL, 10 kilowatt, which is on an 80 foot tower. I had a, a little crane out here to help us lift it up and it got it up about 45 degrees and then I pulled it with my tractor, wouldn't budge it to pull it up the rest of the way. And then I took my other tractor and tied it to the first tractor. And we got a neighbor's tractor in the back so we wouldn't pull it over, which is just a safety thing. And uh, it went up. Well, this box behind me contains some of the solar panels, some of the photovoltaic panels that I'm going to put up. Each one is. 250 watts at about 30 volts and I'm going to use uh, micro inverters so for the 42 panels I'm putting up I'll have 42 micro inverters which will convert the DC to grid frequency AC and feed it back into the grid these solar panels here are going to do all the electricity in the house or more than all the electricity in the house and um, so I should not have any more electric bill and should possibly even get paid for a little bit of extra that I produce. You know, my generation will be a little greater than my consumption. February of 2014, I think it was February, I, I volunteered in a, an orphanage in Tapachula, Mexico, right in, in the state of Chiapas, in the very southwest corner of Mexico, maybe 10 or 20 kilometers from the Guatemala border. And I came there half to do electrical work and half to work with the kids there. I put up, uh, set up 13 photovoltaic panels with microinverters and um, Right away, it brought their electric bill down from $1,500 every two months to $1,000. And um, the kids were real nice. I remember one, one, one little girl used to call me, uh, 
How do you say grandfather? Abuela? Or abuelo? You know, she'd always come and sit with me and she called herself Dora after Dora the Explorer. Why I got into alternative energy? Because I'm an electrician and I'm just interested in this stuff and and I do these jobs for other people and um, I want to do it for myself. I mean, once they're running, you know, greenhouse gases are not a concern anymore. You know, and a lot of people are against 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 environmental restrictions because they said it's the jobs, it's the jobs, you know. But I don't seem to care about that. I figured like there's other ways to create an economy, you know, where people have work.